Hi, hi everyone. Hey, it's Cassie Cassie. How are you? Hey, hey, it's another day. Another day. We're going to be doing some nails. Let's do some nails. Remember, I said it does not have to be perfect. We just need to get the job done. That's it. We just need to get the job done and make sure that these nails are sealed. I have my tea. I have my tea. And we're still doing green tea. And I'm still doing no sugar. We have our nail, nail, nail supplies. We have our flowers. Beautiful Mother's Day from the grandbaby. Yeah. It's good to be a grandmama. Our grandparent, you get those little extra perks when they do come. When they do come, I like getting them. And we have our moisturizer. So I'm going to start with our moisturizer. Moisturizer's fingers. They go Oscar. Missy is somewhere around enjoying the life. So what are we going to talk about today? What are we going to talk about? Let me do my nails and then we're going to talk about. We'll read from my book, Powerful Prayers for Women. Such a beautiful book. I try to read out of it. It was a gift last year, Mother's Day. And I think this is going to be a maybe a theme book that I'm going to be reading out for the rest of the year. Okay, so let's get our nails out the way and then we'll talk more about the book and about prayer and about... You know, life, just life, life things. All right? Okay, so we're going to start with filing our nails. Yeah. You know, the best thing to do is is to just make sure you do it. Just make sure you do it every day, every other day. Some days you may be able to skip and just do, you know, just to touch up on the tips. But we need to make sure that our natural nail is protected. Some of us have long, healthy nails. I'm not one of those people. I never have had long, healthy nails. Well, my definition of healthy are maybe they was healthy, but not strong. They have always been, like my fingers, short, stubby, fat, and just always need moisturizing. <laughs> maybe that's a little difficult. I'm being hard on myself, but hey, listen, sometimes it's the truth. Some of us, some of us have long natural nails and nice nails that grow natural and nice and some of us we don't and I'm one of those girls people humans that it does, just doesn't just come to me like that you know I have to make sure I eat right I have to make sure I moisturize I have to make sure I do those little extra steps but in all in all, I get to the same place. But I just have to do extra steps. So my extra steps, I'm going to take because I went to the nail salon and I have to wait 45 minutes. I know you all are tired of hearing me say that. But I had to wait 45 minutes and it was just too long. And, and they didn't even come to the front and say, well, they're going to come and service me. So my best option was to come back home and to just do it myself until this Missy until I could you know I can go back to the nail salon but I think it's going so good that I'm gonna save myself from having that overlay because that overlay is pricey it's like fifty dollars I mean I know it lasts me for about two months but I've saved that extra money that I could use for 
medical expenses or something like that. So we're going to go, remember what I said with the nails? Go back and forth, but then go one way to seal that cuticle. Back and forth, and then one way, seal the cuticle. Seal the cuticle, seal, seal, seal. Seal the cuticle, seal the cuticle, seal, 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 back and forth, seal, back and forth, seal, back and forth, seal. Okay, and it's just that simple. Just that simple. I'm going to get a little bit of moisturizer, go with the inside, outside, outside, wipe off. Cause I'm gonna, I don't want to get it too much because after I file, after you file your nails, you want to make sure you have enough leverage to have where the hardener can stick. So we're just going to use, use your favorite hardener. And so we're going to go one down the middle, left and then right, middle, left, right middle left and right so let's talk okay so I was diagnosed with lupus in 2003 my ANA came up positive for lupus I was tested in the United States I was when I first got tested I was not in the United States so I got tested my ANA came back half Half the strand and half it was not. So, my doctor, we dealt with that accordingly. So, I was placed on Piconel medication. Piconel medication is, let me tell you, it's wonders. It did wonders for me. So, listen, I went back to a specialist. Make sure the top is tight. I'm going to do one coat. One coat today because I want to come back and do it again tomorrow. But let me tell you, I went to a specialist and they tested me again for lupus. And it came back, my ANA positive. So, I had the strain on both ends on the highs that tested. So, I had it, it tested all the way across. So, now... I having to deal with uh, immune system problems. I've always had a bad immune system. And unfortunately, it, it can be difficult sometimes, even with the doctors and even with just trying to take care of yourself and stay healthy, or just being, um, keeping your immune system down. You might get sick more easier. Mine, my bones always hurt, they ache. So it's not something that I want to complain about or it's not something that, you know, I want to say, you know, I'm going to give up because remember, we're not going to give up no matter what you do. Don't ever, ever give up. Don't ever, ever give up. So it's just something that you just have to keep, keep going through in your life. But we're never, ever going to give up no matter what happens in this life. We're never, ever going to give up. Never give up. Okay? So even though it can be challenging going to the doctors and doctor's visits, dental work. My dental work is like, oh, it's, it can be extremely difficult. But you can never, ever give up. No matter what goes on, no matter what goes on, girls, guys, all above, human and okay <laughs> never ever give up don't ever give up okay never give up listen this book I want to read out of this book because this book is it's really such a good book so hold on and I'm gonna read you a scripture out of this powerful prayers for women okay just one moment Okay, it's Cassie Cassie. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to the channel. Let's do it together. Like me, share, and leave some comments. And Cassie Cassie 902 at yahoo.com. 
We're reading from Powerful Prayers for Women, Mark eleven twenty five, and we and when ye stand praying, forgive, if ye have aught against any, that your Father also which is in heaven may forgive you your trespasses. Mark eleven twenty five. I love you all. Be encouraged and please never ever give up. No matter what difficulty, what goes on, how good, bad, bad, ugly, pretty it may be. Sick, no sick, happy, healthy, strong, not strong. Okay, just never ever give up. I love you all, and let's continue to what? Just live our life. I love you all. Let's do it together. Cassie, Cassie, love you. Peace. Peace. Hey, hey, I think let's just pray. Let's pray. Let's pray for peace. Let's pray for families. Let's pray for those parents that are raising their kids by themselves and that they need help. Let's pray for grandparents. Let's just pray for peace in homes. So bow heads. Father God, close eyes or be at work. Just be tuned in with your self and the prayer. And I just thank everyone for tuning into the station that we're growing together. God, we thank you for your grace and your mercy and your goodness, Lord God. We ask that there be peace in families. Be with us, Lord God. Cover us. Touch the parents that have to raise their kids alone or co-parents. Lord God, be with them. Touch us, Lord God, on the way from whatever destination we have to travel. Go out before us, Lord God. Send your angels out before us, God. And we just give you all the praise and thanks for your grace and your mercy and your goodness and your peace, Lord God, and your love and your understanding, God. We give you all the praise. We give you all the praise. In God's name we pray. Amen. I love you all. Peace. It's Cassie Cassie. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. I love you. Be encouraged and we're never going to give up. Okay? I'm going to quote like Tamar because I love those sisters. And we should say, get your life. Get your life. We're going to get our life. I love you all. Peace, Cassie Cassie. Hi, Tony. I love your family. I love the whole family. Great voice. I love you all. Love you. Peace.